So this is what happens when you work 12 hours every day, seven days a week for almost a year. Watch. Uh, what's going on right now is that I am on my way to a dealer to go see an XT6 that I got. I forgot what the price was, but I believe the price was like 44 XT6 this morning. And then he just called me like, man, I, I, I called like, a, like it, it was like seven o'clock in the morning when I uh, uh, put in it that I was interested and then it's 10 o'clock and, and we're gonna see how it is. Okay, uh, this is called the uh, B Cave Cadillac. So it's a Cadillac uh, dealer. They do with, deal with just Cadillacs, which that's what I really wanted. Um, all right. Let's go there and let's find out. Let's see what he has. So here we are. We are at the Cadillac. So it is an actual dealer. Um, all right, I, I really don't want to get, you know, screw or on this. I'm, I'm hoping they take care of me because it is an actual Cadillac at dealership. All right. Let, let's see how it goes. Um, let's go check out this car. Oh, I think that's it. I think I think that is it. Oh, hi, Rob. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, this thing looks so nice. Yeah, so I called them last minute and uh, um, uh, let's see this. I called them last minute and um, he said he's got, got to get it ready and all that stuff, but um, it's looking really nice. How you doing? All right, so Rod had to go ask for, uh, he's gonna be my uh, salesman. Um, he's gonna be asking for permission. Um, I asked him that, you know, I told him that I was gonna be, I run a, a YouTube channel, my experiences with um, um, my money and expanding my business. Um, so he's gotta ask permission from his boss, make sure it's okay. It is a brand new place and it up. It looks really nice, actually. Darn, it looks, it's like, it, it's, it's brand new. Brand new, this whole, whole entire place. Um, they don't have any cars yet. They don't have a lot of cars yet. But um, it's all caddies, all caddies. All right, let's see what he says when he comes back. Maybe I can put him on camera and advertise their uh, store. Oh. Okay, so it's a six seater. Look at this. Two seats in the, well, single seats in the back so I could sit six people, it's not the actual seven seater. And here's the sunroof that I've been looking at for a little while now, but I wanna see what that looks like. This looks really nice. It just needs a little bit of cleaning, but I called them last week. Got my in the office, dude. They got some nice offices. Look at this, they're all glass. They're talking. It's down there. I never had a caddy before. You hear the transmission? So for me, it's like it was like a no no, you know. But the thing is, Tesla's don't have transmissions, so I'm not used to the sound. I gotta drive a, a couple of other cars too. So let me see. All right, let's. I got an idea. Maybe he'll let me drive one of the 2023s and see what that feels like. Yeah. All right, let me, let me. So this is the 2020, no, this is the 2021, okay? Uh, full with taxes and everything. It comes to 49.9. This is the 2023. But now this one is the Sport, okay? Now this one is like 70 something. Anyway, I took it for a ride very soon very 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 smooth ride um and it feels exactly the same as that one that one's a six seater i don't think i could take that now i did call uber and uber said that it does qualify for xl but i'm not taking no chances but this one's got thirty-two thousand miles all right but they do have a seven seater somewhere around there and the seven uh the seven seater it's got like fifty thousand miles i don't know if i'm gonna go for it that's a lot of miles and i don't know if i can do that but let's see, uh, 50, business, business. But, oh, but it's going for 44. So it's a lot cheaper. No. You know what, I don't know. Okay, I see how it goes, it's coming outside now. All right, these guys are gonna kill me. I've been here for like, been a couple of hours already because it has to be a seven seater. So I've been saying, you know, I had the deal like done and I signed in the paper and everything I was like, yeah, that, and then, I found out that a six seater might not qualify, so I need a seven seater. So I can get another one and then test drive it, you know, see if it felt the same and all that stuff. Um, but they, they I had to stop, I had to stop the deal. I'm so nervous. Fifty thousand is a lot of money. I know I can make the payments, but still, 
50,000 miles. The car, this one's got 50,000 miles, but it's a 7 zero. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna go for it. It's the same car, same exact thing. On things, it's, just, it's got seven seats. They look so nice. It's coming back. It's coming back. This is the coolest thing ever. Okay. Oh, I can blur it out. Hold on. Oh, you gotta use the pen. Okay, I gotta use the pen. Right here in the middle. And you can push on that right there. This is awesome. <laughs> It is done. I did the deal. Um, all right, I bought the car. It came to 52. All right, a payment of uh, 925 and interest rates 7.95. Um, my I had a really good credit. I didn't even need a call signer for this, but because of what's going on, interest payments are, are really up there. And for what I really needed for, you know, 925 um, is not that much. Um, it's better than paying three thousand for the rental. So, all right, now here we go. Okay, I, I achieved my, uh, my goal. Um, now I just gotta wait. I gotta wait uh, a couple of days because I need someone to come with me to come pick up the car. So, all right, let, let's see. Let's see how I can pick this car up now. But now it's time to pick up my car. All right, we are here. All right, so this is it. This is my XC6. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put the plates on it and now I'm gonna take it home. Well, I'm gonna take it to the shop. I have to get it registered and then I'm gonna put it on, uh, uh, you know, I need a registration for it to qualify for Uber and Lyft and um, all right, let's see, let's see. Don't do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know what that is. That is. I don't know what that is. I think that's the volume. I don't know what that is. I think that's called a cluster. Thank Okay. Um, I don't know what that is. What is that? I have no idea what that does. What's that for? I don't know. Look at all these buttons. More buttons. More buttons. That's for. Oh, what happens if I press SOS? Oh. Right there. No, no, no. This one. Nice. Look at all this space. Let's try back up. All right, so now I'm going to be going from this to this. I'm not too happy about it. I like the truck. There's a lot of buttons. But here we go. Let's do the breakdown. All right, this is my uh, Hertz ticket for um, for last week, I just started a new week, so all right. The total amount was two two thousand four hundred and thirty. You see it right there? Hold on, where is it? Where is it? Two that right there, right there. Little bastards take so much money. Look at all those little fees. Oh uh, no, it's focusing on my face again. Look at all those fees. Look at all those fees. I'll blur out some of these things. Okay, but 2,430, all right? That's how much I got charged from Hertz, all right? Um, 475 is like the flat rate, 475 something uh, was the flat rate. But for the whole entire week, that's 2430, that's including all my EV charging. Um, that's not including my toll. My toll is something, um, it goes into my toll tag, which is cheaper, all right? Uh, but 2430, but now, but now, much this one now i'm going worst case scenario here because the car is uh uh it holds 19 gallons and it's 18 
City and 23 Highway. So I've been seeing an average of uh, $3 per gallon, so 19 gallons in my truck, which comes to a total of $57 for the whole, for every day that I work, assuming that uh, um, I drive the whole entire day and I empty the, the, the car out. Um, and then it's $57 a day, but let's say I work seven days a week, it comes to a total of $399 for the week of a gas, okay, that I'm gonna be using. All right, hold on, it's really chilly. It's chilly, oh, that thing looks so nice. Look at it, look at that thing, look at that thing. Yeah, that's right, baby, call me back, call me back, hold on. I love you too, I love you too. And so with my $925 payment, which is like 7.95 and uh, $180 of uh, ride share insurance, which um, all together comes to a total of $1,504, but compared to my $2,500 or $24 something, just rounded off to $2,500, all right? Um, I still make um, a little bit over $1,000 of profit if I also just do it this way, but I also have the XL feature on that thing, and I have to take in consideration of maintenance. But I have over a thousand dollars that I'm going to be in profit if I keep hustling the way that I do. All right, that I can put money on the side and I can use to fix the truck if anything goes wrong. So I got to do the hustling. But then you're saying to yourself, "Well, nine ninety six is not over a thousand. Well, that's because you're not including." the other income, income, my adsense, my affiliates and all that stuff. So now this is where the rest of the money comes in and plays a big role. And that's why I always encourage everybody to invest their money. But now let's see, because the money I'm making $2,000 a week, but that's just because it's the Tesla. Now I have Uber and Lyft and I also have a higher luxury service which pays more let's see how much money we make and now with the truck you know making money the XL way all right let's see how much we make now with the new hoop D